Hi guys, it's Andy here, back with another mod. Uh, this time it's another weapon mod. Um, I've created a variation of the blunderbuss, uh, which I'm calling the musket. Uh, the difference between them is the blunderbuss is sort of like a shotgun, it scatters shot. Um, a musket fires a single bullet, if you will. Um, so in order to create this mod, um, I used the forge and added my own custom uh, mold for the forge. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make the ammunition for the musket. Okay, um, so to the loot tables um, in the junk where you find like arrowheads and bullet cases and that kind of thing, I added these musket balls. Okay. Now from that musket ball, we can create the musket ball mold uh, for the forge. Okay, so if we take that over to our forge, stick some lead in it, and start it, we can see it gives us musket balls. Now I set the ratio of these to be half of um, what you get for uh, well, equivalent in bullet tips, because the musket balls would typically be big. Okay, so we'd use more lead. Uh, so rather than getting four uh, tips for every one scrap lead, you only get two. Okay, so we've got a few of those. Um, so now we can move on and craft the ammunition. Okay, so to craft the ammunition, it's pretty much the same as the musket. We use paper, gunpowder, and instead of a uh, scrap iron or a rock or whatever you use for the blunderbuss, we use the musk the the musket bullets. Okay? This creates the the musket ammo, um, which are called minet balls. Okay. Uh, in order to create the musket itself, it's very cheap, similar to the uh, to the blunderbuss. Um, just uses four planks of wood and four pipes. And that gives us a musket. Okay, if I get this out now and load it, you can see it does the uh, the muzzle loading action, which is correct for a musket. And there we go, that's the uh, the musket. Um, in terms of damage, um, I said it so the minimum damage um, would always be... See, we've crafted a quality 1, um, which is the worst you can create and what you typically find early on. Um, so as you can see, the entity damage is 10.10. Okay, uh, the way I uh, structured the damage on this was so that no matter what quality you create, even if you make the worst one, it always takes uh, it only ever takes a maximum of two shots to kill. Okay, so if we go into DM mode and uh, spawn a zombie. Um, two shots to the head, put him down. Okay, there's one, and there's two. As you can see, it's a, got more range than the blunderbuss, obviously, and uh, I think it's overall it's more effective. Hence why I added the, uh, the the necessity to have a forge before you can really get lots of ammo for it. Um, so if I use the flawless one now. You can see it has an entity damage of 70, and that's the maximum it can get to. Um, it's set to have a 5 times headshot bonus. Um, so, when we spawn in a basic zombie like this, they have 100 health. So, um, that's why with the crap one, it ha by having 10.1 as its minimum damage, uh, it means that if you shoot it twice in the head, it'll do a minimum of 100.2 damage, which is enough to kill it. So obviously this flawless one will finish it in one shot, no problem. Um, the sights on this blunderbuss uh, sort of uh, mesh means it's actually quite difficult to hit anything in the head from far away. So, yeah, it takes some practice, but it does have decent range. 
clearly not going to be able to hit this at all. There we go. So yeah, that's the musket mod. Uh, if you like it, I'll leave the custom code in the description down below. Um, this has a few few little things you'll need to do. You'll need to, uh, obviously, as well as adding the custom ammunition and the custom weapon, uh, you'll have to add the custom mold for use in the forge. Um, the musket balls that you use to make the mold as well, that's a separate thing you'll have to add. And you'll have to add um, the musket ball into the loot table so you can actually find one in the first place so that you can make the mold. Uh, so, a little bit more complicated to add, but nothing nothing too complex. Um, so yeah, if you like it, I'll leave the, uh, the code in uh, the description down below. Um, other than that, like, subscribe, leave comments if you've got any ideas of your own, and I'll uh, see you next time.